When you look at this picture, you might see a burning forest with nature existing within it. But when I see this picture, I see it as being the human tongue. I refer back to biblical scripture where in the book of James, chapter 3, verse 5 through 6, it says, Even so, the tongue is a little member and boasteth great things. Behold, how great a matter a little fire kindleth. And the tongue is a fire, a world of iniquity. So is the tongue among our members that it defiles the whole body and setteth on fire the course of nature. And it is set on fire of hell. What this verse is saying is that the tongue is disproportionate to the influence it holds. The tongue that teaches false doctrine is, for one, a worldly tongue, okay? And when I say teaches false doctrine, I mean anything that goes against the word of God. So anyone that says it's okay to to live this type of life, it's okay to... Um, to have a sex outside of marriage. It's okay to live a life of homosexuality. It's okay to um, use profanity. It's okay. God understands. I'm human. That is what the Bible says in this verse, that it is a tongue that is in a world of iniquity, okay? So the tongue, it pollutes the whole body and it determines the destiny of all who follow it. This is why I encourage you to get in your scripture. Do not use sermons that you hear on TV or listen to on YouTube or on a podcast. Those are good. They actually help you in your walk. Sermons, a church sermon, that's great. An hour of that. But in order to truly live a life that God has ordained us to live, it is all within the scripture. The scripture gives us detailed information on how we are to live. So that is why when I say I don't use bad language or I denounce my tongue, things of that nature, it is because I refer back to biblical scripture. So going back so when I asked you, what do you see in this picture? You might have seen a burning forest. But for me, because I know the word and I apply it in my daily life, I see that picture as the human tongue.